Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. It's Friday again and it's time for another Plan With Me video. Please join me as I make the planner pages and write down my plans for the week of February 8 to 14, 2021. I'm sure by now you all know how this goes. First, I select a fresh spread, fold down the center sheet in half, put a tab on, and then draw a line on the center of the other pages. And then I select the washi tape for the week. I decided to go with this dainty foiled one that I considered last week but didn't use. After all the washi tape has been laid down, I take out my pre-printed timestamps and date headers, but let me just show you a major change that I decided to try out. These are 24-hour timestamps. This is an expansion of the usual timestamps that I have on here, which starts at 7 a.m. and end at 11 p.m. Because of insomnia, I end up doing other things when I should be sleeping, and I want to track those. And I also want to track my sleep on the weekly pages, aside from my sleep log that's on a different section in my notebook. I will explain more later. But more or less, you can see here what I want to achieve. Here is the uh, day where I have the 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, timestamps. As you can see, it's not enough because of my irregular sleeping patterns. But on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I have already pasted on the 24-hour timestamps. And I have been able to mark an irregular sleep on there. So basically, that's just what I want to achieve with the 24-hour timestamps. And then after I have pasted on the timestamps and the date headers on the proper places, I go to my computer to check who will be having their birthdays the coming week, and it turns out there is just this one friend. Let me just pause for a while to show you what the weather is like today. It has been raining since around 2 a.m. I fell asleep at around 3.30 a.m. and it was still raining. The rain stopped for a while, but it's starting again now. As you can see, a light drizzle is going on. And now for the actual planning. I know that I have no specific to-dos beyond the usual small routinary weekly tasks, so I did not even look at my running to-do list. But I referred to my February 2021 calendar the entire time. Monday will be the first day of the registration at my university, and I need to officially enroll in that one class that I was required to take and which I have already pre-enlisted for. The enrollment process is completely online. It can be done remotely. I don't have to go to Quezon City. And the classes will also be completely online because of COVID-19. And I also have at least three YouTube videos planned as well for next week. And those are pretty much the major tasks that I have to do for the coming week. All other things are small and routinary weekly tasks like preparing my pillbox for the coming week, you know, things that I can finish in a few minutes. I have also forgotten to put on a national holiday on there. It is the Chinese New Year, and I saw it in my February 2021 calendar. It is a national non-working holiday. Now, because of the longer space for the 24-hour timestamps, I will have a smaller space underneath it for the task list for each day, but that's okay. I don't plan to take on many tasks for the coming weeks because I am prioritizing my thesis starting this month and all the way until I am done with the final defense, which will hopefully be within this year. I also have to focus on my one class from when the semester starts in March until the middle of June, which is when the semester will end. There are no notebooks to make for customers for next week, and there will be no other work and no other big projects. I need to finish my two defenses within this year because I have my 2021 goals to work for. I can also utilize more the column for the weekly task list on the leftmost side of the first spread, the one with the header that says must be done for tasks that have no definite due date. I can just mark them on the timestamps when I have actually done them. So there will essentially be more tracking on these pages. 
Insomnia is also one of the major reasons why I cannot commit to an actual morning routine because I never know anymore what time I can reasonably get out of bed feeling like a human being and not feeling like some kind of mollusk. And with insomnia, there is no point in going through an evening routine because I tried that and it did not work. So I'm not even going to bother anymore. What I can do instead is to use my sleepless time to actually do something. And that is the plan. And that is why I have the 24-hour timestamps on here. I have no idea if that is going to work, but I'm going to try this coming week. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're sleeping okay. Please let me know in the comments if you also struggle with sleep these days. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.